And look at the structure in here and all the bubbles. So what a lot of scientists do is they can actually extract gases from these bubbles and they could tell us something about the history of the ice. And down here, we have icicles. Normally they're vertical, but here you can see that they're kind of bending. So what is happening here is that instead of breaking, we've got the pressure of the ice from above that's compressing and creeping. So instead of the ice acting as a solid and breaking, it's acting kind of like a plastic and it's able to bend. So just by seeing that uh, feature, you can tell that the ice is creeping and the overhead pressure is pretty large. <laughs> right here, you see that curvature? Beautiful, usually that should just be coming straight down. And because you've got the pressure, I don't want to break it. <laughs> but it's almost like uh, what you see in regular caves with rock stalactites and stalagmites, except this behaves much differently uh, because ice has the ability to, to act as a solid and then also kind of like this plasticky, wavy way. That's really cool. See that one? It looks like bacon. 